All right, you guys. Next up, I'm going to show you how to import uh, custom textures for NBA Street Volume 2 through the Dolphin emulator. Um, so this will be for if you download some texture updates or for the entire HDR mod, this is how you're going to get the game to actually use and load them. So let's go ahead and load up Dolphin and you want to go to graphics enhance no advanced excuse me enhanced and you want to check the load custom textures checkbox right here now what this will do is if you go to your dolphin folder you go to your user folder go to load textures now if those folders don't exist feel free to create them just as long as they're in the dolphin root folder so user load textures and in here is where you want to put your folder for the game and any custom textures now it just so happens that the game name for NBA Street Volume 2 is this GNZ E69 so we can go ahead and copy and move this right in here this is the folder for this game that's how Dolphin knows hey when this game's up use these textures in this folder open this up and as you can see we have some textures here these are textures created by Mizachi they are currently available through the NLC virtual hardwood forum and as you can see he has updated uniforms for the heat and for the Celtics which is fantastic I, I love this and a couple of updated logos so now that these files, as you can see these files have really weird um, file names on them and that is so they are properly loaded by the game as long as you have those textures these ping files in this folder, the GNZE69, under the user load textures, and in this graphic setting under advanced, you have load custom textures. You are all set. The game will, when uh, the time comes for the game to need those textures, that's how you load them. Now, if you want to take it a step further, you can go ahead and modify these in you know, Photoshop or GIMP or Paint if you want to and make edits to them and you can get them into the game that easily. Um, the other part of this that's a little bit more, uh, not difficult, but when you have the game open, so let's say the game is running right now. I'm not going to load it up right now because I want to keep this quick. Let's say the game is running right now and I want to dump all the textures that are currently loaded in the game so I can modify them. What I need to do is go to graphics again, go to advanced, and hit dump textures. Now you only want to do this when the game is running, because if you leave this checked and run the game, it's going to dump every texture in the game, and that's going to get pretty big and messy to search around. So what I would do is load up, I don't know, uh, let's say the Lakers and the Cel or excuse me, the um, Heat and the Celtics in a game on Rucker or something. Let's say I want to edit those textures for the players and for the Rucker Park textures. I load it all up, I pause the game, I hit dump textures, I make sure that um, I maybe I play a little bit to make sure that all the textures get loaded and dumped properly. I go back in here, uncheck it, press close, and then if I go to Dolphin, User, Dump, Textures. There will be a folder in here, the GNZE69, and it will have every single texture that I dumped from the game right in here. I can edit this in GIMP or Photoshop, cut them out, or, or copy them out, whatever, go over to Load, Textures, into this folder, and paste them in here, and the game will then load them. That is a bit confusing because it's not using actual files like NBA 2K13 does, but that is how it works. So if you need additional help, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm more than willing to help, and please you know, ask for help at the virtual or hardwood section of the NLSC forums, and we will do the best we can to try to get as many artists working on this game as possible. So I hope this helps, and I will see you in the next video.